Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a really cool one for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at some brand new iPhone 14 cases sent to us courtesy of Taurus. So big thank you and shout out to them for sending these out free for review. Of course, we're getting this up before the iPhone 14 is even unveiled. So if you enjoy that and you wanna see more of this, hit this video with a big thumbs up and subscribe. We will be doing a lot more case reviews and iPhone 14 reviews in the future. Here is a quick size comparison of the 14 Pro and Pro Max. But yeah, let's crack these cases open and see how they look. So let's first start off with this orange one. So you can see down here, it says designed for iPhone 6.1 P 2022. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Here we go. So nothing else in the box. We could set that to the side. Taurus right here. It's in a little bag here. We'll pull it out. And that is a very clear case. Looking very good. No yellowing at all on this one. And that is a big... <laughs> Big camera cutout right there. Interesting little cutout here. <laughs> That's cute. There's some sort of warranty right there. So interesting to see. Let's go ahead and push this off to the side and let's test it on the iPhone 14 Pro. But first, of course, we have to peel this plastic off. Super satisfying. Look at how clear that is. Wow, this looks very, very nice, guys. Usually these come to the studio with just a tiny bit of yellow, uh, but this one is like crystal clear. Let's grab the iPhone 14 Pro here, stick it right in. Gotta be careful with these because the dummy units do tend to break, so I have to be very careful and gentle because these go in and out of many different cases in our studio. But this is the iPhone 14 Pro dummy unit inside of this Taurus clear case. Just giving you a quick look at how that is. And let's go over the button feel. So buttons feel fantastic. No issues there at all. Nice and clicky. If we look at the camera, you can see it doesn't look like it's raised, but it actually is. I have a camera screen protector already on here. Uh, I actually can't get it off because this is a dummy unit. If I pull it off, the whole camera module comes out. So there is a screen protector here, which means there's an extra added thickness. So if you didn't have one, this raisivity would be there. So if you set your phone down like this, you don't have to worry about it hurting your lenses because the case will be there first. So that is awesome. You can see straight through the phone, which is great. I love that. I love to be able to see the color I got with my iPhone. On the side here, you can see buttons look great. No branding on this side. And on this side, it just says Taurus right there. And then you've got these little air pockets in the corners. So if you do drop your phone, those should help out. They're on every single corner of the case. Mute switch is nice and easy to get to. On the front, the screen raisivity here is nice and high. So if you do drop it down like this, you should be covered. Grippiness is very good. So overall, this case is a win. Price is super affordable. Check this one out, guys. Let's move on to the next. All right, guys, we have three left. Let's go ahead and take this one right here and we will check it out. Also says design for iPhone 6.1 P 2022. It says magnetic something black. So let's check it out. Very nice box, by the way. These boxes are super cool. Let's pull it out here. And they are all in kind of upside down, which is strange, but I've seen a lot of cases like that lately. And here it is, Taurus. And I thought these were little pills, what the heck? Okay, this is really cool. You can change out the color of your buttons to whichever one you would like. You can choose yellow, you can choose red. That's sick, that is awesome. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Here it is. Look at that, it is a smoke black finish with the magnetic MagSafe area right here. Ooh, this looks so good. So this is a hard plastic and this is a little softer on the edges, but honestly, it is all pretty rigid. Looks really good. Let's put it on the silver or white iPhone 14 Pro. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks so, so good. Check that out, guys. You're sitting like a boss at a meeting like that. Mm, game over. I love the frosted back. Uh, it has a really nice texture to it. Looks good. On the front here, the raisivity is great. Button cutouts look just perfect. No issues there on this one. Little lanyard cut out right there. Let's check the button feel. All oh, these are fantastic buttons. On the back here, you got the MagSafe area as well as camera raisivity right here. Uh, if you didn't have this screen protector on the camera protector, I guess I should say, on the cameras, uh, you would be able to notice that more dramatically. But yes, it does raise up. So that is great. Yeah, this is an awesome case. Slam Boy approved because it does have that screen lip raisivity right here. Overall, this is awesome. Let's test it with MagSafe. I know that this phone does not have it, but let's double check. There we go. Oh, that's a very strong magnet too. So just to be clear, this phone does not have MagSafe, but this charger sits on here just perfectly. So you can imagine how good it will be once you have the real iPhone. Very nice. Let's move on to the next. All right, now they got me curious about these buttons. So I do not know how this works, but I'm just going to push them out. And the instructions are actually on the back of these. So keep that in mind when you pick yours up. Uh, here are the buttons. So let's pull them out. I only want these two because I'm not going to do the power button right now. Uh, this is just for video's sake. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put the red ones in just to show you guys what that looks like. All right, that was crazy easy to do. And you can see that just transforms this case. Honestly, it really does. Uh, let's put the phone back in just because I am so amazed with how easy that was. And yeah, this is awesome, guys. Definitely, definitely check this case out if you like customizing your buttons. I could have put the yellow one right here. The red power button is still in the package, but I could have put that one in there too. Man, this is awesome. Definitely check this case out, guys. It is a steal. All right, so looking at the back of this, this is actually a screen protector. So I'm gonna save this for when I get my actual iPhone 14 Pro in the studio. So let's set this one to the side. That video will come later. The iPhone 14 Pro is not even out yet, but we will be pre-ordering that. We'll have it in studio day one. So let's just sit tight on that one. Let's open up this one. Now this looks really cool, Mars Climber Black. So I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out together. Let's crack it open and see what we've got inside. In the box here, nothing else. Set that to the side. Nice little tourist bag right here. I am really liking this. This is the first year that we have gotten a tourist case to review. You know, we usually do the other big ones, which are also coming, but Taurus was really on top of their game. Obviously we've already received these cases and we are reviewing them. So we are getting these videos out before the iPhone 14 launch. Big shout out to Taurus for getting these cases out there on top of their stuff. Anyways, this one is more of a just regular frosted. This is not as smoked as the other one. Actually, I don't think it's smoked at all. Looks like it has a kickstand. Overall, the same features as the other one. So let's check this out. No customizable buttons on this one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these are different. These are built in. So these are just the normal buttons. Those other ones were very premium buttons. But yeah, let's go ahead and grab the iPhone 14 Pro here. Stick it in this one. So this will give you an idea of what the normal frosted looks like without the smoke. If you're not sure which one to go for, here is the difference. This is the smoked. This is non-smoked. Um, they both have a great texture to them. You can definitely see the Apple logo, but on these dummy units, it's kind of hard uh, and you can only see it in certain light. Let's go ahead and pull out that awesome kickstand. These things are great to have. You can set your phone up like this or landscape mode. Either way works perfect. Super convenient. I'm surprised more cases don't have this because it just works. I mean, everything's relatively flat back here, especially with the camera bump. So I don't know. It just makes sense to have a kickstand, especially for FaceTiming and watching movies. Button feel is, let's check it. Very good on this one. Front screen resivity is nice. So you don't have to worry about putting the phone down, button cutouts. All of these look great. Mute switch is easy to get to, very nice. Corners feel like they have some air pockets right there, or at least just some extra rubber, which is great in case you accidentally drop your phone. Very, very nice case overall. This is a win, especially if you like that minimal look, but you want that added functionality of a kickstand. Check this one out, the Mars Climber. I'll have the full links to everything down below in the description in case you wanna pick one of these up for yourself. So that's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe because we will be reviewing their screen protector on the actual iPhone 14 Pro once it comes in studio. But until then, sit tight. We've got a ton more case reviews coming. Seriously, a bunch of case reviews coming. So sit tight, stay tuned. That's all I got. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.